Hello guys and welcome back to the crazy Minecraft video where today the villagers have gone ahead and invited us to their wonderful zoo where they want us to go ahead and test out some brand new Alex mob spawners that has been added to the game and they've even given us a wonderful book so let's go see what it says and hopefully it should explain everything. Hello Naveed, we have opened a new zoo, but we have spawned it in the void until we can make sure that every animal is safe. Once you have spawned every mob, we will transport the zoo to our village. Wait, is that why they've gone ahead and pretty much added this zoo with nothing around? Okay, I guess that makes complete sense. And I can already see we have a few visitors checking out everything. So let me go ahead and put this book back and let's take out every single one of these spawners. And we can start to spawn them all the way around. But I have a feeling there's not going to be enough space to pretty much do every single one. So let's just try and do as many as we can. Well, I'm going to go in and get started by spawning the Komodo dragon right around here. That I think is going to have a great little spawn location. Oh wait, I think I actually want to spawn it with the mountain goat. So let me go and head up right around here and let's go and spawn it right up above. Here we go. Let's go and spawn it right here. Cool! It looks so awesome! And wait! It's attacking the goats! And it's going ahead and poisoning them before eating them up. This is awful! Okay, maybe we have to get out of here before it goes ahead and tries to kill us. Let me spawn the rattlesnake and maybe they can fight together. Let's go and have a quick look. Wait! The rattlesnake is getting really angry. Let's make sure not to get too close to it in case it tries to attack us. Okay, let's head to the next location. I'm going to go ahead and spawn this emu right inside here that is completely empty. And let's go and do this. Ah, cool! Now I wish we could actually go ahead and ride it. It will be the coolest mob ever. But I can see we can probably go ahead and ride these mobs. Whoop! <laughs> My bad. Let's get out of here as fast as we can. And let's go and spawn the Galada monkey. <gasps> Cool. This is one of the brand new mobs they've gone ahead and added that I would love to see in the forest biome. It would absolutely look really cool. And we can even go ahead and spawn a friend for it. So let me go ahead and spawn the main wolf and hopefully this should be a good addition. See, it looks so awesome. And I wish we could actually go ahead and keep this guy as a pet. But you know what? Let's keep on going and let's spawn the Tasmanian devil. See, <laughs> this guy's going to fit in perfectly. But I have a feeling that we might easily mess up. Let me go and give this to our wonderful mango if we can. And perfect. And let's go and take out some brown new spawners. I'm going to go ahead and spawn the raccoon right outside inside this little area here and hopefully this should work. Let's go and have a closer look. Yep, he looks really awesome. And we can even go ahead and spawn a platypus so we can have some wonderful fun with it. See, now we've got to make sure he doesn't jump inside the trash because as soon as he does, he will go ahead and eat some crazy junk. And we can even spawn a terrapin which is basically a little sort of turtle that we can go ahead and keep right around here. I think he looks perfect. And right inside this cage, I'm going to go ahead and spawn the anaconda. There we go. Whoop, he's getting a little bit angry. <laughs> Look how big he is. I'm pretty sure we didn't spawn him in the right location. He's absolutely massive. And I think it might be heading towards one of our llamas. Let's go and have a closer look. No! He's attacking it! And he's going ahead and pretty much choking it! This is not good! Okay, let's get out of here as fast as we can. Let me spawn a dangerous mob like our alligator gar. That will go ahead and snap him as fast as we can. Quickly, let's get out of here! This is going to be pretty crazy today. And we can even go ahead and head down below and spawn some other wonderful mobs that belong inside the ocean. Let me go ahead and do this. Now, finding a way in is going to be a bit of a challenge for us. So, I might actually have to go ahead and break some of these glass. Okay, let me break this one. Let me break this one right around here and then this one. And if we head right in, we should be able to go ahead and spawn our orca. Let's go and have a quick look. Whoa, it's massive and it looks absolutely wonderful. But you know what? I'm going to have to go ahead and get some oxygen. Ah, perfect. I'm going to need to get as much as we can so we can go ahead and get out some brand new mobs. Let me just see what we have and hopefully we can find some other ones. Now let's go and see what else we have because I'm pretty sure we do have a frilled shark. 
Whoa, look how scary it looks. Okay, we can't spend too long looking at it because we're about to lose our oxygen. Let's go and get some more. I'm perfect, and let's go and see if we've got any mobs. I'm gonna have to go ahead and probably spawn as many of these as we can. Oh, perfect! We've got a hammerhead shark. Let me go and spawn it right around there. And awesome! This aquarium's gonna be the coolest aquarium ever. Especially with our orca going ahead and riding around. I wish we could go ahead and use it ourselves. Well, let's get out of here before we drown. And let me go ahead and spawn a few various mobs. I'm gonna go ahead and do our bold eagle right outside. It's gonna fit in so perfectly. And I'm a little bit scared that a few of these other mobs might be a bit loose. Well, let me do the bold eagle right around here. And awesome. And let's go and see if we can spawn some friends from like the crow. <laughs> and cool. As well as our shoe bill. Every single one of these are going to fit in so well with our wonderful zoo. Let's not forget to go ahead and do our toucan. That should hopefully be able to find some plants around here. I have a feeling everything is slowly by slowly finding a wonderful spot. Even our main wolf. He's found a wonderful hill that he can go ahead and hunt all of his prey with. Well, I think so far we've found so many wonderful creatures. But let me take out a few more and let's go and do this. Now, I was thinking we could spawn our leaf cutter ant inside the trash. So we can go ahead and eat all the trash and pretty much fit in perfectly. Wait, is he trying to attack us? <laughs> oh, there he goes. He's eating everything. And he's picking up all the leaves and slowly by slowly going to take it back to his little ant hill. And let's also spawn the sunbird to go ahead and fly around. And hopefully it will create a bit of a sparkle for the whole zoo. Well, let me keep on going and let's do the Jerboa right around here. Which is basically a little pet that I think the bold eagle might try and go ahead and eat. Where is he? Now, I can see the crow, but I can't see the bald eagle. So it must be around here somewhere. And let me also go ahead and spawn a cockroach inside this other trash. There we go. <laughs> Fits in perfectly. Ah, gross. I have no idea where he's gone. Okay, let me go and spawn the tussling right around here, which I maybe should have spawned inside one of the little areas, but I'm kind of scared of it. <laughs> Let's spawn a little fly to make us feel better. And there it goes. <laughs> this is going to be so awesome. Let me take out a few more spawners, and let's go see if we've got any more left inside the chest that we can hopefully go ahead and take out. I am so excited to go ahead and finish this off. Villagers, I am so ready. We've literally got only a few more to go ahead and do, and I can't believe we've tested out all of our brand new mobs. Let me head inside the ocelot cage, and let's go and do our gazelle. And cool, look how awesome it looks. This is going to be one of the coolest ones ever. And let's also spawn an elephant right inside here. Hopefully it's not too small of a cage. But look at it, it's got wonderful ears and everything. I think slowly by slowly this is going to be the best suit we've ever done. Let's jump over to the other side if we can. Which for some reason we we're actually struggling to get over. Okay, I might actually have just to leave that. Let me go ahead and do the capuchin monkey right around there. And awesome! Look at it! It's one of the coolest mobs ever! <laughs> I think it's going to enjoy this whole area so much. And let's get out of here as fast as we can. And let's go and spawn our tiger. Which I'm actually going to have to spawn by himself inside this cage. There we go. Can we see him? I want to have a closer look at his face. Okay, watch out. It's going to be pretty insane. Let me go and spawn the snow leopard so we can go ahead and fight against it. Now, he's fighting against our wolves. And I think slowly by slowly, every single mob is getting really angry. Um, Maybe we can calm him down by going ahead and spawning. Let's see. Let me do the ant eater. Hopefully things should get a little bit better. Let's go and have a closer look. <laughs> now, I can't tell if he's trying to hunt it or actually play with it. But I definitely can't take my chances. So let's get out of here and let's go and take out a few more of our spawners. Let me do our crimson mosquito right in the middle of nowhere. Ah, that is sucking our blood. Okay, let's go and kill it as fast as we can. Ah, this is awful. And I can see it trying to actually go ahead and just destroy us. Let's go and get in a few hits of ourselves. Come on, we have to go ahead and fight it. It's going to be our only chance. No. Okay, this is going to be ever so challenging for us. Let me rush inside our little tiger enclosure and hopefully this should work. Oh, maybe hiding out should definitely help us. Nope, it's still after us. <laughs> this is awful. Run. 
I'm hoping we can actually go ahead and lose it inside the little biomes. Okay, let's head inside this one again and let's go and spawn our grizzly bear as well as our roadrunner and hopefully both of them together can start a little wonderful little enclosure. Let's also do our gorilla that's going to go ahead and try and find some leaves to eat up. Oh, I think you can see some, but they're outside. How about we go ahead and spawn the crocodile right around here inside the water? Let's go have a closer look. <laughs> now, he does look really vicious, but I'm kind of scared he might try and attack our platypus. Okay, let's get out of here. I'm going to jump inside our little snow enclosure right at the front so we can go ahead and spawn our seals. Okay, let me jump inside. I'm perfect. Let's go and spawn it right around there. And awesome! Hopefully now we can have a wonderful time with the seagull. <laughs> See, he's going to love this so much. Especially with all the fish that are scattered around everywhere. And I'm hoping we can go ahead and probably spawn the whale somewhere inside here. Is there enough space? Let me go and see. Nope. Okay, that's not good. We've spawned the whale, but sadly he is absolutely massive. And I don't think he's going to fit in. So let's get out of here as fast as we can. And let's spawn our blobfish. See, <laughs> he's a little blob in the middle of nowhere. And guys, we're down to our last few spawners, which is such a shame. And let me do our cosmic cod. <gasps> That teleports away. Okay, that's a pretty dangerous one. We've got to make sure we don't go ahead and leave that one alone. And right on top of this little snow biome, let's do our moose. See, this isn't bad whatsoever. He looks so awesome. I'm kind of hoping we can get out of here now, though, and maybe spawn a few other mobs, which is going to be a little bit challenging for us. Can we get up over here? Oh, I think we've almost made it. I'm perfect. We've done it. Okay, let me go and spawn the last few just scattered all day round. Let me do our kangaroo right around here with our mimic octopus that will go ahead and change into whatever color it's standing on. And you can see some of the villagers are so excited to already bring back this suit to the real world. And guys, let's just go ahead and spawn the last three mobs, which is our roadrunner, and then our hummingbird, which I'm going to spawn right underneath it, and it's instantly flown away. And the last one is our lobster, that I'm actually going to spawn right here. And perfect. There we go. Falls straight down into the water. Well, guys, it's been so awesome today going ahead and fighting against so many wonderful mobs that I'm kind of scared our moose and our tussling are going to be so angry with us. And hopefully everything else should be really friendly. So, guys, I will see you soon with a crazy Minecraft video. And don't forget to like this video, subscribe down below button is red, and don't forget to go ahead and press the notifications bell. And, guys, I'll see you all very soon. Peace out.